Hello and welcome to E4. My name is Matt, and I just noticed that Spain has colonies down here in Morocco. Well, it's a little south of Morocco. Actually, it's just that one colony that's some of Morocco that he uh, conquered. Anyhow, the colonization has definitely begun then. I wonder if Portugal is over in Brazil. Hmm. Maybe someday I'll get an explorer and find out. Anyhow, uh, back to where we left off, I have invaded Finland. They have the province of Travisland, and I want it to be mine. We sieged them up, and now we're going to go sue for peace. Full annexation. There's no point in vassalizing one province minor like that. Uh, Norway has a war, and they want to move troops across our territory. I don't really want them to. So, no. Make core. Oh, and they're Protestant, and I can change that later. Uh, they have some nationalism. I might keep some units up here just to chill. Facts. Yeah, go ahead and move up. I'm going to split this move a half of those cannon down here to Moskva. Alright, um, yeah. We're going. The colony over here in Eldan is doing pretty well. Hey, that's called Maya. Converted uh, some heretics, very good. Spain has a military alliance with Austria. There's a frightening thought. Uh, Bohemia's at max relations, they're coming on back. Um, I think I'm going to improve relations with France, you know, just cause. And the Ottomans, cause I can get that over 100%, and I may as well do that. Uh, not over 100%, over, well, above zero, I should say. We have money for admin tech, not money, we have admin tech for an admin tech. We have admin points for admin tech. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, we're not ahead. So let's go ahead and take it. We can now get an administrative monarchy if we wanted to. We might do that sometime in the future. I don't know. Revolts possible everywhere. That's fine. We'll crush them like we do all the other revolts. Relations... Uh, our inflation is back over 2%. Don't have any admin power to reduce it just yet. That's fine, though. Nope. Wait. Merge them. Execute the bailiff or lose the stability. Too bad, dude. is still my vassal. Oh, we're over 90. Shoot. Uh, come back from Austria's closest. Yeah, I really want to go ahead and annex you. So he's been my vassal for a really long time. And that needs to happen. Yeah. Alright, we're going. Oh, our military leader died. He didn't live very long. And the guy replacing him is nowhere near as good. 2-2 with one siege point. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Oh, they're taking attrition. Supply limit of 20. Alright, merge up. I guess... Diplotech. Let's do that. Okay, unlock the, the flute. Norway has declared peace with Scotland. Still at war with Sweden. I mean, Scotland is out of that war. England is still in it. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's check our advisors. I really kind of want a uh, Master of Coin or Mint or whichever one that is. The one that lowers inflation. But we don't have one available. We have an idea available. It's a military idea. Naval attrition minus 25. Well, let's see if we're ahead. We are ahead, but... Um, mm. Well, let's go ahead and get it. Hungary's now allied with France and the Papal State. Things could get pretty interesting over here in Central Europe pretty soon. doesn't really do much for me. But then again, neither does morale of navies versus spy offense. Oh well. Um, hmm. We have some money. We have over 75 uh, admin points, so let's reduce inflation. And purchase a bunch of buildings. First of all, let's go over here and make sure that all of our gold-producing provinces There we go. Have workshops. Yes, that's what I want. I think that's our only other gold-producing province. And there is... These, uh, Siberian provinces don't have much in the way of tax base. They do have a lot of is resources. Uh, valuable resources like copper. Uh, copper's only at two ducats right now. And furs. Let's see what's fur. What are... Oh, iron too. Furs. There we go. Furs is at like five. I think I'm gonna increase production there too, so... Let's get them constables, and then we'll get them workshops later on. of trade ships to be built and let's go ahead and pause and unpause oh wait that's gonna put me over my limit we're at 23 now we're building two more corrects so that'll be 25 one yeah four that should be right yeah Patriarch Authority still... <sighs> Not really, no. Alright, um... Although I will want to convert these provinces once I conquer them and annex them. Alright, I haven't gone to war with the Step Horde recently. I think I might want to do that soon. So I'm going to get a claim on the Golden Horde. They're not allied with anyone, and they're sitting there looking all vulnerable. So I'm going to call... Oh, shoot! I forgot I was annexing uh, uh, Cyber. And I took Diplotech. So now I don't have the Diplo points to annex Cyber. Hmm. We lost some claims, that's fine. I'll hold off on that war thing. I will call back that diplomat, though, and fabricate a claim on the horde.
Ooh, yearly inflation reduction. Sweet. Norway is going, has declared peace with the Hansa. I think Norway might be winning that a little bit. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and build a bunch of these. Alright. Fabricate a claim. I don't even know if these provinces are particularly useful. Uh, so, ooh, six base tax. Nice. One base tax. Not so nice. But I don't want Crimea to have them, so I'm going to grab them. And then I'm probably ought to look at declaring war on Lithuania. Actually, they're at war themselves. Send a missionary there. They're at war with Poland. Oh, man. I can't pass this up. How much... Uh, Seventy-five percent. Ah, really was not thinking when I took that tech. Oh, I need to go to war with Lithuania. I need to do it now. What's our military looking like? <laughs> max manpower, max uh, unit limit, a hundred. Over, is over a hundred. That's more prestige. Goodness. Shoot, I'm gonna need a war just to get my prestige up. Alright, he's coming back. Hmm. No, oh, no, you're building intervals. I think I'm gonna send that diplomat anywhere just yet. Unless I can fabricate another claim. Oh, hey, yes, I can. Uh, Zamantia. longer. 93 per There we go. And we have their units. That's great. Up with them. And... Uh, 21 days. We'll declare war. We won't have probably... Ooh. Denmark? Rejected peace with Sweden. Nice. We won't have enough, uh... We gained a commandant. Not a lot of good that does us. What was I about? Oh, oh. Man, things are getting real interesting over here. Pomerania's doing a land grab on Denmark, Lithuania. <laughs> oh, man. This is fan. Oh, he has a truce with Poland and Austria. Oh well. Take 
Minsk or show superiority? Uh, 75 aggressive expansion. That gives me more prestige. We will be winning those battles. Move up. You have a general. Go in. And I'm going to let those peasants stay there. Poland, who was just at war with Lithuania, is now entering the war on their side. I think that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. They ain't got much. They got their army. That's good. Poland wants access to our territory. Sure, you can beat up on Denmark. Siege. Actually, wait there before you. Where is it? The 10th of May. Slow down a bit. Wait till the day before and go. Crap. Lines with the Netherlands. Oh! Sp <laughs> okay, hold on. First of all, Norway will cede Shantland to Sweden, Denmark will cede Skane. Sweden did pretty well there. Netherlands have declared independence. Netherlands declared war on the enemy, enemy Austria. I want them to exist. And I don't want Austria to get any stronger, so yeah, I'll enter alliance with them. They're not going to exist for long. Spain's in that war. Uh, Austria moving trade port, that's fine. Alright. Now. Actually, no, I'll wait for them to attack their peasants, and then I'll attack. Some vision from Gordno. Grod. Grodno. Vilnius. Of course, I don't want to enter before the battle's over. Here we go. Oh, and, uh, Poland. Yeah, there you go. Blockade, there are only two ports. Just let's have everyone move down there. Battle of Illness. We took some surprisingly heavy losses there. But still, we won. Drop a siege there, move him up to Turov. And that way that you know be able to support both sieges. I was not expecting them to move there. Or not move there, as it were. And then... Yeah, go control the Baltic. I'm coming for you, Poland. The missionary. Shil... Shilba? Shilba. I'm going with that. Alright, that was a much better fight. I'm gonna go ahead and siege up Poland's capital. Uh, get them out of the war and maybe give Brandenburg some territory. Oh, 
I have two bl diplomats free. Uh, first things first. France. Francy pants. I may wind up in war against Austria thanks to my alliance with the Netherlands. I want to be friendly with you. Oh, Netherlands probably aren't going to be around for a while. Unless someone else goes to war with Austria. That's, that's not looking good for them. And then... Let's top off things with Brandenburg, since they seem to want some of my territory. I'm get another couple cannon, just to speed up sieges. Siege in Minsk. And it's inadvisable, Dick. Uh, but if you want to do it, I won't stop you. When are you arriving? Ninth? Eighth? Well, which is it? Eighth. Ooh, 21st. I'm gonna take some damage here. Alright, uh, select army. The big one. Let's move you back down to Turov. wasn't paying attention. Drop siege. Ah, so much has happening at once. I'll get to you in a minute. I'm not gonna arrive in time. The siege is going to end. Because I was not paying attention. Come on, please. Please. Oh yes, thank you. Thank you. So very much. Alright, my two new cannon, move up. Oh, I lost an advisor. Oh no. Morale of navies, trade efficiency. Thank you. It's a very nice advisor to have. My sieges are doing well. We knocked down a bunch of walls. Zealots. Kiev. Kiev is finished. That's fine. You. Autonomous rebel suppression. Go for it. Alright. Uh, I guess move to another s province. Continue sieging. We had two cannon finished, so let's get two more. for our force limits. Oh, our force limits are up to 31. Well, uh... Let's get two more ships, then. Actually, since we're in... Let's build a galley. Since we're in the Baltic, primarily, let's get a galley and, you know... Because they're cheap, and they have pretty good fighting power. We have only plus one on the cannon bonus. We need four artillery for that. I think we might have four artillery. I'm gonna use this army for hunting down theirs. 
And as soon as I have a diplomat free, I'm gonna see what terms, if any, uh, Poland will take. Well, after Brandenburg finishes their siege. Alright, Minsk is finished. Uh... Yeah, Gordno. Gradno. You called Diplomat from France. Very good. Uh, Battle of Warsaw. We squished them. Took very few losses. That's good. Now move to Podless. Or just go play whack-a-mole. Siege of Torov is over. Shurgnov, on you go. Uh, wait, I, yeah. Diplomat's back. Brandenburg's finished their siege. Will you peace out separately? Don't want to give that back to Brandenburg. Will you give that to Brandenburg? No, you won't. All right. So we just have to siege you up some more. This time, let's take the port. Squish their army. Actually, no, wait, stop. Group up. Select army. One unit of horse. One unit of foot. Select this unit. And then head down there. You can get some mercenaries. Once I squish the army here, I'm gonna go siege up their capital. I have to again. Uh, hey, hungry. I'm not gonna offer you an alliance just yet. Well, you are allied with France, Milan, the Papal State, Savoy. You're liable to get in a fight with... Venice, Naples. I don't want the Ottomans encroaching on your territory anymore, so let's get an alliance. I think that's not a bad idea. And they want oral marriage. Yeah, sure. Alright, uh, oh, and then improve relations. Pomerania has Oh, Denmark will lose more land. Oh man. Poor Denmark. They're down to like nothing. There you go, improved relations. Alright, moving in on Poltava. <laughs> Crimea has declared war on well, there goes the Golden Horde. Oh well. I lost out on the chance to get land there, but the, tempta the opportunity to grab Minsk from uh, Lithuania was just too much. Group up. Drop off the siege. Wait. Uh, yeah, I don't like the way it does sieges. The auto drop off leaves you with too many cavalry. And. too much foot. You know, go siege realness. 
I have too many diplomatic relations. I lost a, uh... Oh, that's right, I have the alliance with... Oh, well. With the Netherlands. After this war is over, I'll be annexing Ukraine. And... It won't be a problem after that. Bohemia really likes me. Austria doesn't. Can I take Austria in a fight? It's a good question. Uh, well, France has more men than I do. We have the higher force limit and way more manpower than Spain. Austria, yeah, we could. Now, Austria Spain together would be a challenge. Because Spain is looking pretty good on the manpower. But I think we could do it if push comes the sub. these mercenary units. Gain five legitimacy or five prestige legitimacy. I didn't even look to see what that was actually. Alright, converted the heretics of Sever. Yes, now we can go, go convert the rest. Once I finish my siege up in Wizza. Wizza? Wizza? I'll say Wizza. It sounds funnier. I don't think there's going to be much point in improving relations with the Netherlands. It doesn't look like they're going to be around for a while. That event was timed poorly. Slusher was not at war with anyone, and they were very strong. <laughs> not surprisingly, we beat their one transport vessel with our... Oh my gosh, my trolling fleet was there too. Alright, we are uh, over a half hour now, so I'm going to call this an episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, tune in next time to see me finish beating up on Lithuania. Anyhow, like, comment, or subscribe if you feel so inclined to do any of those things, and hopefully I will see you next time. Have a good day!